hello and welcome to the weekly moon update for July 3rd through July 9th. We have a full moon week and actually if you're watching this at the time that I'm airing it, Sunday night might be a little bit closer to the actual full moon time for you. So just an FYI if you're watching this on Sunday, you might want to be doing your full moon things. The moon is actually full at 7.38 a.m. Monday morning. This is probably around the time a lot of us might on the East Coast might be waking up in the morning. So you could even start your day focusing on the full moon energy, which is in Cap. Obviously, we'll talk more about Capricorn full moon energy in a moment, but I just wanted you to be aware of the full moon time if you're watching this on Sunday because you might want to do your full moon uh, activity, whatever it is that you usually do Sunday evening. As far as community events this week, we have Tarot Tuesday that's going to be on YouTube and I really, really, really want to fit in some Twitch uh, live streams because I really miss hanging out with you guys on Twitch. And at the time of filming this, I haven't decided yet what day that might be. But just to give you a heads up, uh, it might be Monday evening, Wednesday evening, or possibly Saturday evening. And we also have a Legend of Korra on Sunday. And I actually had that scheduled for 8.30 p.m. And we, I might, I might still have the Legend of Korra at 8.30, but I might have to move next week's weekly moon update to 8 p.m. premiering at 8 p.m. That way we can start the watch party and discord at 8 30. So I hope you can join us for these community events. I'll try to keep you updated and give you a little bit more advanced notice on when we'll be on Twitch. But let's jump into this full moon and Capricorn week. So like I said, we're having our full moon at 7 38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This also might be a holiday time for some people if you're if you are somebody who has um the fourth of july off you might have that monday off too i don't know <laughs> um so i i love having this full moon around this time because i know a lot of people at least in the u.s are going to be looking up at the sky looking up at fireworks so hopefully the full moon will be the like main main attraction uh <laughs> while you're sitting there waiting for the fireworks this is just a really wonderful time because there is going to be celebrations happening this is a really wonderful time if you if you look in the just a phase moon planner we're focusing on all of our accomplishments since capricorn season at the beginning of the year so listing all of your accomplishments and putting a gold gold star on it and really just allowing yourself to feel what that success feels like. And uh, there's also a visualization exercise here for things that maybe haven't been working out as you thought they were going to or projects that you're still working on or goals that you're still working on to give you this opportunity to really sit and visualize and feel what it might feel like to accomplish the things that you're trying to accomplish, what it looks like, who's there with you, what does it feel like, um, what does the environment look like, um, what does your day look like when once you've accomplished this goal, especially if you have health, like health goals, like exercise goals, or like what does your day look like? And so continuing to list those things that you haven't yet accomplished on here um, by the time we reach Capricorn season at the end of the year. So what, what does this look like? What does it feel like? And while you're, when you're writing the things that you still want to accomplish down, holding that feeling and holding that visualization and holding that sensation so that you're just maintaining that vibration and that frequency of achievement, of accomplishment. And it helps believe, it helps you believe more in your dreams. It helps you to maybe combat any any of the negative energy that you have surrounding, well, what if I can't? What if I, or I should have, should have, could have, would have, or any self-doubt. It helps you kind of hold on to this frequency of belief and yes, I can do it. And hopefully those doubts will just dissipate into the ether. So Capricorn energy is the mountain goat. They, they, they are really good at 
climbing the mountain, no matter what obstacle. Think of Capricorn time of years is the middle of or the start of winter. And we have limited resources, but they're still going to make it through the winter. They're still going to get to the other side where the sun, the other side. And that's where we are right now is when the sun is shining brightly. We made it. <laughs> we made it through the winter. We made it through. We started the growing season. And now hopefully you can just kind of sit back and relax just a little bit. You're not, we're not starting things right now. We're not, we're not having to like work as hard, especially if you look at the analogy of the garden, like you've already planted the seed, the plant's already growing. It's just going to do its thing. So hopefully whatever you've been working on has at least built up a little bit momentum so that it's a little bit self-sustaining. Yes, you still have to put your energy into it. Like we talked about with all of that Libra energy last week, you're still going to have to pay attention to it and put energy into it and give it nutrients when it needs nutrients, give it love when it needs love, um, give it rest when it needs rest. That's what cancer season is teaching us. So hopefully you are able to rest a little bit around this full moon, but hopefully it's in more of like a celebratory way. And I, I love when full, when moons align with holidays Because I think it just helps bring your awareness and your attention to, hey, the full moon is about things being illuminated and bright and celebrating. So even if Capricorn likes to be strict and like do the work first, if you do the work first, then you're able to play later and relax later. So we will be in Capricorn energy for all day Monday and into Tuesday afternoon. At 1.30 p.m., we're moving into air. So this is bringing us from the earth energy up to like our earth roots, our feet up into our brain and thinking a little bit, reorganizing our thoughts, learning new things and uh, doing things differently. If you've made your list of things that you still want to accomplish the rest of this year, Again, the Aquarius energy is going to come in just like it does after the new year to help us think like, well, how can we, this didn't work out last time I tried this. How can I do it differently? How can I readjust and change the way I approach my goals, the way, and and that might be the visualization exercise. You might have never thought, like, it's really hard to accomplish things when you don't know what it looks like or feels like. So taking that time to really, what does this feel like? Because when it comes to the unknown, it's unknown. We don't, we don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it feels like. So doing that visualization and at least trying, and that's also going to help you get to the why, like, why are you, why do you want to accomplish this thing? What, and help you kind of visualize what is it going to take to get there? And it also might make you realize like, oh, this isn't really what I wanted. I wanted this feeling, but this thing isn't what is going to get me there, if that makes sense. (laughs) So Aquarius energy, just out of the box thinking Tuesday afternoon into Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, we move into Pisces. This is taking our ideas and really dreaming and visualizing them. You might want to use this visualization exercise all week, like in in taking the different signs and seeing, okay, Capricorn, Capricorn can help us set the goal. This is the goal. Aquarius is like, okay, how might we be able to reach that goal? And then Pisces is really visualizing it, dreaming it, uh, believing in it. Um, and that's Thursday and Friday. Uh, this is water energy. So it's emotional. It's like, how does it feel to accomplish those goals? Um, we'll be in Pisces energy for Thursday afternoon, all day Friday, and then into Saturday afternoon when we move into Aries. So Aries, what you might be able to like, just kind of float around in Pisces energy, but Aries is going to be like, okay, let's start something like we did all this visualization. Let's start taking action on something. This is a waning gibbous moon all week, but we because we have the full moon on Monday, this is still a lot of energy. This is when you want to um, you want to start winding down, but really slowing down is going to be happening next week and the week after as we approach the, the new moon. So this is still a lot of energy available. Yes, it's a waning Aries moon, but This is a like, how do we tie up all the loose ends? Um, Aries is really good at starting things and 
honestly does have kind of difficulty completing things. So this this is really kind of nice energy with a, a waning gibbous. Gibbous meaning there's a lot of light and there's a lot of energy and figuring out how you can like kind of wrap things up, tie things up in a nice little package and using um, this week, the rest of the rest of next week to um, take action on those things because we'll be starting Monday with Aries moon as well. Um, so I, I really love having a Capricorn for a Monday. I know maybe some of you have have Monday off, but Capricorn helps us get things done. And remember to put your gold star, put your gold stars on your, put your gold star on your forehead, put your gold star on your list, put it on, uh, tear this page out of your planner and put it, put it on your bathroom mirror so that every morning when you wake up, you you see your accomplishments and you see the things that you are striving for, and. Uh, I like putting the gold star on it. I hope you do too. This is like one of my favorite exercises in, that we do in the planner. So I hope that you are so proud of yourself. We're going to be focusing on, on what everybody has accomplished on our live streams this week because I really want you to be proud of yourself. I really want you to celebrate, even if it's just little tiny things. Little tiny things make up the big thing. So don't sell yourself short. Put a gold star on your accomplishments because you deserve it. So the flow of the energy this week is we're starting off with earth. This is at the ground level, taking our ideas up in the air on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, we're coming back down and just riding the wave of Pisces energy. And then uh, we'll allow our energy to peak on uh, Saturday and Sunday. So the deck that I've chosen for today is the Untamed Animal Spirit, and we got Moth. The breath left my body in my fragile flight, but life resists all around. Those you loved now have small, thin wings. The spirit turns towards the light. Let it be resolute. I appear in the night offering a vision. I bring memories and dreams. Symbolically, the moth embodies the dark side of the butterfly, a version with great transformative value in its darker aspects. It is a nocturnal creature attracted to light. It flies close to the flame, risking burning its wings. Its movement towards fire represents the movement of those who search for truth, even at the cost of getting hurt. In fact, we should pursue the truth but we must, we must also be prepared to embrace it, which requires all the intensity of the moth, but more time than its lifespan. Sometimes the moth is a spirit that's lifted from the body upon death or the presence of an ancestor that appears to warn us of something. The fragility of moths resembles the dreamlike worlds that we might lose in the chaos of day. And yet in our dreams, we can receive important indications about ourselves or have access to another perspective regarding certain events. I don't think that this, this card could be more perfect for this week and everything we're talking about, visualizing our goals, visualizing our dreams. And I also love that it, it points out that the moth is the dark side of the butterfly because I often use the moth or and or butterfly to represent Gemini energy. And remember, even though we're in cancer season, we had a Gemini moon cycle, which are the twins. It's that duality. It's the light and dark. And literally, this is the dark side of the butterfly. So everything that we learned during Gemini season, we we're carrying it through this Gemini moon cycle through cancer season. So this really helps you solidify whatever it is that you learned about yourself dualistically um, during Gemini season. And that is the energy of the moon cycles for the entire year, the rest of the year. For example, when we have a Cancer new moon next week, that new moon is going to be solidifying for us what we have been learning through Cancer season. So I love having this this moth here and and really like focusing on our dreams 
and and how we can accomplish our dreams on this Capricorn full moon. The chakra card that we have is tenderness. There is strength and softness and softness and strength. You have learned to demonstrate both with, with such agility and grace. Your capacity to love knows no boundaries, which grants you the spaciousness to give and receive love freely. Rise in love, stand in love, expand in love, be in love. Love is the core and the essence of who you are. Let your tenderness show in all you do. Be a gentle voice in the world and a tender touch, a warm embrace and a soft whisper. So this is obviously a heart chakra card. Crystal they recommend is pink tourmaline and the herb is cayenne. So I feel like this card is also speaking to duality, like strength and softness, softness and strength. And I feel like this really speaks to the like drive and solidity that Capricorn is like work, 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 do, do, do. And then Gemini was teaching us to play. And now cancer season is is having us take care of ourselves to rest, to relax, to have softness, like you can have hardness and that masculine like drive and go but then you can also have softness at the same time like both of these things need to exist in your life to maintain balance and to sustain your energy i i love i i love the cards that we always pick for these weeks it just like makes so much sense i hope that the energy of this week helps you to step into your your the person who has already accomplished your dreams. So allowing that embodiment that Capricorn can give us, but also that dreamy, um, watery energy that Pisces has and that Cancer has to offer us too. So really beautiful energy for this week. I hope that you have a wonderful, happy full moon, a wonderful, happy 4th of July if you celebrate and Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you later this week, either on, here on live on YouTube, live on Twitch, or in Discord. Thanks for hanging out with me on the other side of the looking glass. We will see you soon. Mm -hmm.